Henry the Green Engine had steaming troubles. Some days he woke up raring to go. Others, he felt utterly feeble. His crew tried hard to make him better, but to no avail. Henry usually pulled the first train. Each morning, Thomas brought his coaches to the platform and pushed from behind to help Henry start. He always whistled, good luck, and Henry would whistle, thank you, no matter how little steam he had. He can't help feeling unwell. The fat controller must know that, he confided to Edward. You don't think he'd replace Henry, do you? The fat controller always gives engines a fair chance, smiled Edward, and Henry's a good sort. Even so, he sighed, something must be done. Thomas gulped. Edward's remark didn't feel very reassuring. Later, Thomas was shunting when he saw Sir Topham Hatt talking to the station master. He couldn't quite hear the discussion as Gordon came clanking in with the express. But he did hear Henry and making arrangements. Oh dear, Henry is being replaced, he thought. Little Thomas, beckoned Gordon. My coaches need shunting, thank you very much. As Thomas coupled to the train, a thought struck him. Perhaps I could... Yes, it's perfect, he beamed. The next morning, he brought Henry's coaches to the platform as usual. Henry soon arrived, and the passengers began to board. Thomas could hear Henry wheezing at the head of the train. Don't worry, Henry, he smiled. You'll be all right now. The guard's whistle blew, and Henry started off. Thomas followed smoothly at first, but suddenly jerked forward. Thrown off balance, his crew fell from the cab. By the time they'd picked themselves up, Thomas was steaming away. What do you think you're doing, you silly engine? called the driver. Thomas knew exactly what he was doing. He'd remembered Gordon's trick of leaving before he could be uncoupled. This time, he wanted to follow up. I'm helping Henry! I'm helping Henry! he smirked. Cheeky engine! Cheeky engine, fussed the coaches. Henry was amazed how easy it felt to pull his train. That's good, come along, that's good, come along, he sang. It wouldn't be good for long. They approached the first station, and Henry slowed down. But Thomas didn't. He was so pleased with his plan that he wasn't paying attention. Stop, 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 shrieked the coaches. Without his driver, Thomas couldn't stop. Henry braked with all his might. The train slowed to a crawl, but Thomas's wheels kept spinning. Ooh, he winced, shutting his eyes. Suddenly, he felt his handbrake move, and his steam was shut off. He opened his eyes. They'd stopped at the platform, with angry passengers swarming around a flustered Henry. Phew! sighed Thomas. His relief was short-lived, for stepping out of his cab was Sir Topham Hatt. I appreciate you helping the train start, but this habit of gallivanting after them must stop, Thomas. You've no business running off down the main line, especially without your driver. I'm sorry, sir, sighed Thomas, but I didn't want you to send Henry away. He explained what he'd overheard. I'm afraid you've let yourself get carried away, chuckled Sir Topham Hatt. I'm not sending Henry away. I'm rearranging his timetable. If Edward takes the first train, Henry will have more time to build up steam, which should help him greatly. Thomas beamed. He'd never been so relieved to be wrong. Now. Back to the yard with you. I have disgruntled passengers to pacify, finished Sir Topham Hatt. Uh, oh, yes, sir. I I'm sorry, sir, blushed Thomas, and he scampered away. That night, 
Henry backed down beside Thomas in the shed. It was most kind of you to help me. Now that I have more time to build steam, maybe all my trains will be that easy to pull. Even without you at the back, he chuckled. Thomas smiled, thankful that Henry wasn't going anywhere. <laughs>